Hello and welcome to episode 3 of the XBLA show. I'm Joda Phone and let's kick it off with Top 5 News of the Week. First off on the Top 5 News we have the Kane and Lynch film. Bruce Willis has been asked to star in the film and he has said quote unquote the script has been incredibly well received around town. For him to say that the script has got to be good and if you think how video games into films have gone in the past also the news that Jamie Foxx has been cast to play Lynch and hopefully it should be one to look out for. Next up is the news about MotoGP is out. The big running line of the MotoGP series has meant that the new game has different career mode, game modes and great for championship fans and racing fans alike. If you check out the Xbox Live Addicts.co.uk forums, project manager for Monumental Games, Greg Bryan is sometimes on the forum so you are able to put your questions to him directly about MotoGP if you feel like it. Number three on the list we have video game BAFTAs on Friday night and the awards went as follows. The Fellowship Award went to Miyamoto from Nintendo. The award for Best Action Game went to Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. Best Story went to Uncharted 2 Among Thieves, which is complete rubbish. Best Use of Audio went to Uncharted 2 Among Thieves, complete rubbish again. Best Game from the Video Game BAFTAs was Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, when it should have been Battlefield Bad Company 2, even though that came out a couple of weeks ago, that piece of so number four is the Splinter Cell demo, which is now on Xbox Live Marketplace. Go check it out, it's quite short, but it really gives that needed flavour until the game comes out in April. Personally, I cannot wait for this game, it looks amazing. The demo is that little, little taste. Number five is the news about the Halo matchmaking. Bungie is making some needed additions and changes to the Halo matchmaking for Halo Reach. I haven't heard the tailing more to the hardcore style of game that plays Halo. Hopefully they're not going to be leaning towards a more Modern Warfare 2 style. Personally, I've loved the Halo franchise for the matchmaking because it pairs players up with players of their similar skill level needed when you want to have a good game. They are adding Halo Reach revamped set of online options to cater for the hardcore style gamer, including these social settings that improve everyone else's experience. It includes arena playlists targeted for the hardest of the hardcore Halo players. We'll also have ranks placed in monthly skill divisions and a chance to compete with the best to still find matches at your level. Which is pretty good news, I must say. So that has been the top 5 uber important stuff of this week. This has been me drinking my fresh pot. Check out the website. Please subscribe and comment and let us know what you think episodes every single week.